who has that ring have to say exactly the same thing. How is he forming words if he can't make any comments? Well, well, the thing is, how do you know you're forming words when you're not strapped face down to a bed in a psych ward right now? We don't, but we all experience That's right. you reality. Don't know in that. that reality, I don't can better myself either way. So that came and back. that will enter my spiritual being. Well, that came back to the earlier argument that if, if truth is what corresponds to an individual reality and you don't know what's real, you can't I have do truth. know what's real. What's well, real how do you know is what I experience. Okay, but, that you, is don't, real. but you, don't know if it, you don't know if this is the valid experience. You just admitted that you don't know if you're not strapped down. I do know that down. this is my valid experience of my life. Okay. And that I know that when I die, okay. my experiences will all combine in some karmic realignment. Right. And I will exist as something else. Okay, now and I know you, this contradicts with yours, but that well, is what okay, I Okay, no, that's fine. That's right. But you have a reality in which there is no God. I have a reality where there are many you, you gods. Have a, you, have a, you have a reality in which the Christian God is not the only God. I right. doesn't particularly exist. Right. Yes. Okay. Now, I, in my reality, the Christian God does exist. Right. They conflict. Which one is true? Well, they're both true to each other. They're true. But so, they are okay. independent okay. of each other. Okay. So you're saying that the law of non-contradiction is not absolute. I explain the law of non-contradiction. The law of non-contradiction is you cannot have opposites both being true at the same time. You cannot have one thing but being true, true and to you, they're not true to both of us. You, you cannot have one thing being true and the opposite being true at the same time in the same way. That's the law of non-contradiction. But they're not true in the same way. Yours is true to you, mine is true to me. My truth so, okay. has been reached. Your okay. truth has so been you're reached. Saying truth. They're both true. So you're saying because truth. we've reached them. You're saying truth is person relative. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Now that refutes your argument. How so? Because when you say truth is person relative, you're saying yes, that's true for everybody. No, that is true to me. That okay. Is true. So you don't have truth. You just have a personal opinion. No, I have truth in my own experience. Okay. What is truth? Everything I experience. Okay. So if I experience that you are going to hell if you don't bend the knee to Jesus Christ, that's true? To your experience, possibly. If I tell you that because what you're saying here doesn't actually encourage rational thought, doesn't encourage logical thinking okay. between us, and doesn't encourage camaraderie, so you believe it in... will gather you a lower spot in your next life. Okay, so How do you feel about that? You believe in logic. I do, yes. Right. Logic is universal. Yes. Right? It's not made of matter, and it does not change. Right? How do you account for logic in your world? Did you experience logic? I experienced truth. Did you experience logic, though? You've, you've affirmed the belief in logic. Yes. Okay, where did you experience logic? I have gathered logic through my experiences of truth. Have, do you have universal experience? No, but I have my so then universal how, experience. On what basis do you claim that, that logic is universal if you don't have universal experience? I can answer that. That's that. right, and that's the problem. Because you appeal to things that you cannot account for. You appeal to logic which is universal, which is not person relative. You appeal to that and you can't account for it according to your world. So that's when you stand before God. Now, the thing is, you can say, I can go through this life, I can have experiences. That's just like a hunter going out to crown land, shooting deer. I can shoot deer, man. I don't need your, I don't have to know there's an owner of this land. I don't have to know there's government land. But the thing is, there is, it is government land. And you'll be accountable for that. You're, you're accountable for that. So when you do this and you walk past, you say, I can do this, I can do this. Yes, you can do it, but you're on government land. You're doing that. You're, you're appealing to the God that you know exists. When you appeal to things like logic and truth and knowledge, which cannot be made sense of in a personal relative world. Because you know this God that exists. And you're present. I appreciate your time.